the bell icon to turn on notifications. As I mentioned in the introduction, there are no actual downloadable course or exercise files for SharePoint Online. And that's because we are going to be doing all of the work in a browser. Now, if you're happy just to sit back and watch the videos, then that is absolutely fine. But if you are someone who learns better with a more hands-on approach and you'd like to follow along with me, then the way to do that would be to create your own practice site. Now, if you already have access to SharePoint and you have access to a test site or a practice site, then please feel free to use that. But if you don't, I'm going to show you in this lesson how you can very quickly just create a little practice site. Now, we are essentially skipping a little bit ahead here because I haven't even really introduced SharePoint to you yet. And already we're straight into it, creating a new site. So if you feel you would prefer to maybe work through the first section of this course and then come back and create the practice site, then again, please feel free to do that. Now, I'm currently in my SharePoint team site, and this is essentially my start page. And it's from this page that we can create ourselves a brand new site. So to do that, all you need to do is go up to this Create Site button in the top left hand corner. Let's click it. And then we can choose what type of site we'd like to create. Now, I don't want to delve too much into this at this early stage. I really just want you to get up and running with a practice site. So the one that I'd like you to select here is Team Site. Now you need to give your site a name and I don't mind what you name it. You can name it whatever you like, just something that you're going to be able to identify easily. So you might want to do something like your initials and then maybe practice site. And the only other thing I really want you to check on this page at this stage is the privacy settings. So for this one, I'd like you to set it to private and then click on next. Now, I don't want you to add any additional owners or any members of your site at this stage. So I'm happy for you just to click finish. And there we go. It is as simple as that. So now that you've created your own practice site, you can follow along with me and replicate what I'm doing on your own test site. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.